guys, okay. I'm gonna do a haul for you. Um, the first thing, apparently it all fell out for some reason or other, I don't know. Don't mind my freaky dicky hair here. The wind is probably about 85 trillion miles an hour outside right now. Anyway, I'll show you the packaging, but it apparently came loose in the bag. Um, I got this craft paper tape, and to me it looked a lot like washi tape, and that's like a really pretty hot pink tape there. That matches my nails. Um, this is the LA Color nail polish that I showed you guys in my last King Dollar haul. It's in the color Pizzazz, and it's from the Color Craze line. Okay, and then it came with a blue came with a bright neon yellow it came with a pretty green actually those look like they're the same color pretty much on camera but they're really not and then it came with an orange so I got that for my planner I got these because I'm a sucker for like the little cute things that I could stick in my dust plug on my phone and my iPad so these actually came from the Target dollar spot but they were at my King Dollar and I got them for $1.25 but they wanted $5 at Target so that's these cute little dust plugs, and it's got little Hello Kitty's eye covered up. There we go. But this one's got Hello Kitty with a little strawberry, and then it comes with like the button covers, like the home button um, covers. So I got that one, and then I got this one to put on my iPad, which is just a really cute little butterfly. I got some more of these hair things because I go through these things like crazy. I love to like pin up the back of my hair, which I'm probably going to do that now. It's aggravating me. Look at this mess. I got these because they looked really super cool. Um, they're called wingless clip. And they're basically like the alligator clips. But they're like, they're circular to where you can put your hair kind of up like that. I think that's super cool. So I can't wait to try those. I got some of these erasable pens. You guys know how much I like pens. The only bad thing about these are is their ballpoint. But... I really need a good erasable pen and I figured I would give these a go since the last ones I actually bought was crap um, they look like this they're very like they're actually kind of heavy surprisingly um, and they have the eraser on the end here and it says it's like black ink I got these pens because I think I've had these once before and I really like them um, I think I, I liked them because the ink was so dark that it didn't bleed through. Um, they just look like this. And they have like the points that I really like. So I got two of these and they're like really, really fat pens. So I like these. I got another one of these hair clips because I love putting these up in my hair. Like when I put my hair back in a ponytail, I like putting just a like a barrette in it. These for my daughter's hair, and probably sometimes my hair too, I'm not sure, but they're just like normal little Brits. So, got those. And then I actually got two of these, but right now there's only one in this bag, and it's the double-sided tape. Like, I wanted to get the um, Scotch brand, the kind that rolls, but they didn't have it. So, just got this one, and it's just clear tape, but double-sided tape comes in really, really handy, especially in a planner. At Big Lots, I got this Polaroid keyboard folio and um it has like the keyboard on it and i'm really hoping that it works hopefully if not then i'll take it back all of my ipad cases are a mess like they're tearing up so bad i probably haven't bought a new one in probably like three years and all the ones that i did have weren't that great quality anyway so i really needed a new one and that's the whole point of me going to big lots was to get something like this and I kind of wish it was in a different color, but it wasn't. So we'll just go with the blue. It's almost like a purpley blue, though. No, it's more blue when you take it out of the thing. Like a, like a cobalt blue. But it has what looks to be, yeah, the stand on the back. And, oh, yeah, this is pretty cute. It has, like, the little cord for you to plug it into your charging port. And then the keyboard is right there. Oh, that's so cute. I like that. I hope it works. I'm going to keep my receipt just in case. Okay. Now, um, before I get started on the rest of the King Dollar stuff, staying with the big lots, you guys really should go check your big lots because my big lots had a lot of name brand makeup for pretty cheap. They had a lot of the Revlon stuff. They had a lot of the CoverGirl stuff. 
Um, they had some Almay stuff, and it wasn't like the old crappy stuff that you normally see there anyway from those brands. It was like legit really good makeup. But I didn't get anything. Um, I, well, I got something, but I didn't get any of that stuff. And I'm not really sure it went. Oh, there it is. I actually got two things. I got this concealer and it was 280 and the whole reason why I don't really like Alme products to tell you guys the truth like there's a couple things that I like from them but mostly I don't but the only reason why I got this concealer is because and if you're watching girl a little shout out to you um Diana Diamond I think that's her channel name. I will actually link her channel in the bottom information box because I know that she's trying to grow her channel and she is a new, um, fairly new on YouTube. And I honest to goodness think that she has came such a long way. Like I started watching this girl when she had 22 subscribers, honest to goodness. And now she has, I think over 300, maybe even more than that. And she's just like a really, really like sweet girl. And I think she has a lot of potential. Um, she's came a long way and I'm rooting for your girl because I think your channel is great. She's really down to earth. She's very like budget conscious too. So if you guys like that, you guys like my channel, definitely go check out her channel. Like I said, I'll link it below. But the whole part purpose of me telling you guys about her is because of this concealer. A lot of her like get ready with me videos and stuff, makeup tutorials that she does. Um, she, I've seen her use this concealer and I was just like, oh my gosh, like it looks so creamy and it looks really nice when she uses it. So I figured I'm going to try this out, but it is the smart shade. It's the light medium. Um, it's the concealer and the brightener from Alme. And it was $2.80, and I can't wait to give it a go. So, thanks for recommending, even though you really didn't, girl. Next thing I got is I've been going through, like, this big, big, like, obsession with trying, like, new foundations lately. Major obsession. And probably because my skin is going through, like, this really weird stage to where all of my foundations look like crap on me. Like, literally like crap. And... I have been trying to find another good one, and I've been buying a lot lately. Um, I think I've bought, like, this makes four within the past, like, month, which is ridiculous for me. Normally, I go six months without buying any. So, anyway, um, I got this one there. This one is the Maybelline Dream Liquid Mousse, and it was $4.50, and if this was literally the last color that they had in my shade, which is Classic Ivory, I'm hoping but that would be my shade. Maybe it'll be a little bit too light, but um, I can always make it darker with my powders. But um, I'm really excited to try out this foundation because I really liked the Maybelline Dream um, Matte Mousse Foundation and the powder and stuff. So I'm hoping that that foundation will be good. Okay, um, now I'm going to actually go back to the King Dollar stuff now. Um, I bought this cup because I'm obsessed with like these little tumbler cups to drink my coffee out of. And they had a lot of Duck Dynasty stuff at my King Dollar. And to be honest with you guys, I don't watch Duck Dynasty. I don't. But when they were, um, one of the guys, I don't even know their names besides like Uncle Cy or something. Is that his name? I don't know. But anyway, one of the guys were actually in the movie God's Not Dead, the very first one. And I thought he was really good. And I just really like like their family values and what they stand for. And I know that there's a lot of controversy behind them, but I'm a Christian and I think it's absolutely wonderful um, what they do and how they look at life and things like that. So anyway, all jokes aside, I got a Duck Dynasty cup and I think this is like so cute and I can't wait to drink out of it because it's cute. The next thing that I'm going to show you guys is this and I actually did see um, coupons to provide. I saw her haul this and I was like, you know what, I'm going to give it a go because I used to use the Jergens, and I actually still have some of the Jergens. I liked it so much that I bought the light first, but then I went back and actually bought the, uh, the medium um, and it works really, really well. But I got this one to try and to be honest with you guys, I saw this at my HEB afterwards. Was it my HEB or my, no, it's my Big Lots and they were like $4 and I was like, what? I just like bought the exact same thing for $1.25 next door literally next door um, at the King Dollar, so that was funny. But it's the Suave Visible Glow Self Tanning Body Lotion. And it says, gradually builds a beautiful tan. And I got for the medium to tan skin tone, because to be honest with you guys, I know I'm like light, but the light, if you're wanting to build your color quickly with these kind of things, I definitely recommend that you just go ahead and get the medium to tan, because 
it's not going to be a big deal. Like it's going to build your color a lot faster than the light or it's like light to fair, or fair to lighter. It's something like that. But yeah, I mean, like I said, I bought the very lowest one that you could get and it just did not build the color fast enough. So that's the reason why I went back and got the medium in the Jergens is because it wasn't doing it quick enough for me and it like, it just didn't get dark enough. So I got the Suave and I can't wait to try it. Like it says that you're supposed to get pretty dark. It says if you're this color now, you'll be this color in half a week and that color in a week. So we're going to give this baby a go. Maybe not right now because in the winter time, like I like to look like it's winter time, you know, like it doesn't really bother me to be like pasty pale. Like it does a lot of people. Mostly what I use that for is my legs. I like my legs to look really tan because here in Texas, we have days, not today, because it's super cold today, but we have days where we could still wear shorts even in the winter time. Like last week it was like 80 degrees. So, and I want my legs to like look tan, especially now that I'm starting to lose weight and I'm actually like, well, not starting to lose weight, I'm losing, I'm, a, I'm coming up on the 30 pound mark, y'all, seriously. Um, but I'm starting to like be more conscious of like, you know, my clothes and that kind of thing. So I really want my legs to look like they have like a tan because I just think that it makes your legs look prettier and it makes them look slimmer and it just, I don't know, looks good. <sighs> got some more of these bad boys, but that didn't surprise you guys. I got another one of these charger cords to charge my iPod because I had to give mine to my kids because theirs broke and they have the iPhone 4S that still has these chargers. So I gave it to them, so I just went ahead and bought me another one. Here is the other tape that I bought. Okay, now, Coupon Supervide was showing a lot of, like, clothes that her King Dollar had. And to be honest with you guys, mine didn't have any of the Marc Jacobs shirts. They didn't have any of the Ralph Lauren shirts. They didn't have any of that kind of stuff that she was showing. But I was able to find my daughter a few really cute shirts that she could wear around the house and even I mean even maybe like out or whatever but mostly well probably one of them she'll wear as a nightgown which is this one I'm going to show you and I don't know it kind of has a I don't know this says that it was from Mossimo or whatever um it is an extra small and I thought it was cute it's really big on her it's going to be really big on her but like I said, she can wear it as a nightgown. Like it's going to be really long on her. But she can wear it as a nightgown. And I thought it would be cute. And for a dollar, seriously, like you cannot beat that. So I got her that one. And then I got her this one. This will just be like a casual t-shirt for her to wear like out or whatever. But this one is, um, it says Smith's American. It looks like that. I've never even heard of that before. But it's just like a normal little gray t-shirt that says Smith's across the, across the front and she can actually wear this with like a pair of jeans just like out to the park or something like that and then this little sweater I thought this was super cute this is I don't know what brand this is I-A-N-I but anyway it looks like it's kind of like turned inside out because the seams are on the outside but it's just a normal really cute gray fuzzy super soft sweater and I think it would look so cute if she had like a white undershirt underneath or I mean even if she didn't well it might be kind of low cut but she could put like a little um tank or something underneath of it and it has really super long sleeves for her and it's just going to be like really warm but it's going to be perfect for like a Texas winter so I got those three th shirts so that's all I got at my King Dollar now I'm going to talk to you guys a bit about the makeup that I got at my HEB because you guys need to know this like seriously need to know this if you live in Texas and you're watching me, go to your HEB and go to the makeup section because I'm telling you guys, I don't know what's going on with these makeup brands, but all of the NYC stuff that my HEB had was almost completely wiped out because they had markdown stickers on them, really marked down, like cut in half prices, sometimes more than half. Um, and they had stickers on everything that said stock up to be discontinued on all of the lip glosses, all of like the big, big fat lip glosses that we loved, um, the mosaic face powders, um, their foundations, their BB creams, their primers, their lipsticks, everything said to be discontinued. So 
I don't know what's up with that. Like, is NYC going out of business? Like, what is going on? I hope not because they make my favorite eyeliner and they definitely make one of my favorite mascaras and one of my favorite foundations. And I'm going to cry if there's not going to be any more NYC, which is funny because they're so inexpensive, but that's kind of like why I like them. But anyway, I did get a couple things from them because like I said, I would have gotten more, but nothing was there. Um, I've never tried this foundation, so I went ahead and got it, and I'm hoping that this color is going to work for me. But it is the NYC Smooth Skin Mousse Foundation in the Finny Parfait. It comes in the little jars like this, and I got it in the color Natural Rose because, like I said, the only other color there was like a really super dark tan color. But it's a fairly small jar. Um, it says, a wonderful air-whipped souffle texture for a natural, flawless look up to nine hours. Um, so I got this and it was like regular $5 or something like that. And I got it for like, I think it was two bucks. So tr got this to try. Now these were regular, almost $3, I think. And I got this for 93 cents. This is one of the city proof twistable intense lip colors that look like this. And I just got a really pretty peach one. They did have other colors there, but it was like hot pink and red and things like that. And I just don't think that I would... I don't think that that would be something that I would wear constantly, so I just got this color. This color is in the color Park Slope Peach, I think. It's so little, but it's just like a really pretty like nude peach color. You guys can see. Again, they had all of their other makeup marked down too. They had um, stuff from Milani, the... Um, the, what are those things called? The diamond lip glosses or something that I love. I didn't get any because they didn't have colors that I liked. But <clears throat> those things are normally like $7. They had them marked down to like $2. I'm not even joking, you guys. And then they had a bunch of Rimmel stuff, like dirt cheap, like marked down so far. They had um, the CoverGirl. If you buy one product, then you got another one half off. Um, they had all of the L'Oreal stuff. If you buy, bought $15 worth of products, you got $5 off. So you, actually it would be $15 worth of stuff for $10. So it couldn't beat that, but I didn't get anything. They had a bunch of the Revlon stuff, $2 off, um, all Revlon cosmetics. Um, it was insane, the deals that my HEB had on the makeup. Like, I wish I had like a hundred bucks to like spend to just go in there and like blow it on all the makeup right now. Um, I did get this um, mascara because I'm trying to stock up on mascaras. So I got one of these only because, only because, remember the big fat orange one? I used to love that mascara. The Rimmel Scandal Eyes or something like that. Used to love it. So I figured I would try this one and it looked a bit odd, the brush did. And I am all for odd shaped looking brushes. Um, this is the Scandal Eyes Rockin' Curves, and it says that it has the Broken Heart Brush. And this was, I think, regular, close to $6. It was close to 6 bucks, And they had it marked down to $2 and like 73 cents. So, of course, I was going to get this. And I would open the brush to show you guys, but I don't want to open it right now. Because I have so many other mascaras open, I just don't want to open it. So you guys let me know if you've actually tried that mascara and if it's any good because I've never tried it. Um, okay, the very last thing that I'm going to show you guys um, is a makeup product. Okay, you guys know in my last King Dollar haul I showed you guys the um, Physicians Formula like gel, cream, shimmering eye strips that I like went on the hunt for and ended up swiping them out of a cart in CVS that wasn't even on the shelves. Well, um, I ended up getting, I didn't think I wanted these to be honest with you guys. I mean, I saw them at CVS, but they were like $13 there. And I was like, you know what? I didn't even stop to pay attention to them because it was the cream ones that I really wanted bad. But when I actually saw them close up today in HEB, I was like, I've got to have them because I think they would really make those cream shadows look absolutely amazing. And I got them. They're the Physicians Formula Shimmer Strips Custom Eye Enhancing Shadow and Liner Extreme Shimmer. And I'm guessing they go with the ones that I showed you in my last haul. Um, Abby had these as well. Now, keep in mind, they definitely were not $13 like I ended up paying at CVS for the cream ones. And these were also $13 there. At my local HEB, they were, I think it was $9.58 there. So not really that bad. I mean, considering Physicians Formula is freaking overpriced anyway. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and like swatch these for you guys since I didn't 
since I was a meanie and didn't open the mascara for you guys. The brush that they come want from is definitely on the childish side. I'm going to give this to my daughter to play with in her play makeup. So there's that one. And then here is what they look like really close up. I think they're so pretty in the packaging, but you never know. Maybe they're not. <sighs> okay. They're really pigmented. Oh my God. <sighs> you guys see it like flying in the air? That's okay though, because I like glitter, as you guys can tell by my makeup today. So my pinky is this like color right there, the copper color. And then this finger right here is the really dark color on the end. This finger right here is the one beside of it. And then you have this finger, which is super shimmery, which is that one right there. And then this one is my thumb, which is probably so far my favorite. I really like um, the really light champagne -y shimmer colors because you can actually put those over top colors and make other colors look super pretty. But there they are on your hand. There's a lot of um, there's a lot of glitter and stuff. Not just white that all over my jeans. Yeah, the white's pretty. There's the white on my hand. It's pretty. I like them. Okay. Um, I think that's pretty much all I had to talk to you guys about. I hope you guys are doing well. Be sure to follow me on my Snapchat. All my information is below. That's where I've been posting my weight loss stuff and. All that good stuff that I've told you guys about before that I keep running in my mouth and repeating myself over and over. But anyway, guys, I love you so much. Thank you so much for watching my video. And yeah, I guess I will go ahead and let you guys go. And I will see you guys again in my next video. Bye, guys.